If you clicked on this video, you might have considered using PP2P or L2TP protocols for your VPN solution. Today, I hope to explain why using either one is a rather bad idea. Let's get into it. In the very early days of VPNs, network engineers realized that in order for VPNs to serve their purpose, they needed to be secure. VPN's job is to keep your connection private and not let any malicious actors compromise your connection and get your sensitive data. To do that, they used network tunneling protocols. The thing about VPN protocols is that there is no protocol that is more secure than another. Think of these security protocols like a life jacket when you're out in the sea. The life jacket either helps you stay afloat or it doesn't. To put it simply, protocols are either secure or they're not. It's easy to look at protocols available in VPN apps such as WireGuard or OpenVPN and forget about the ones that failed. But today we are turning back the clock starting with PP2P. PP2P or point-to-point -point tunneling protocol came out in 1999, which sounds like a long time ago, and that's because it is. In the computer world, being old isn't always a bad thing. PP2P has wide support and can be used on almost any device. So if you really wanted to, you could make all your devices at home vulnerable to hacker attacks by using PP2P. That is because compromising PP2P is not hard at all. In 2012, it was demonstrated that you can decrypt PP2P in less than 24 hours. And that was 10 years ago. With today's computers, it's even faster. Also, did I mention that tools to crack PP2P are literally one Google search away? So it's fair to say that you should avoid using this protocol at all costs. Speaking of avoiding, you might have been also tempted to use L2TP. L2TP or Layer 2 Tunneling Protocol was published in 2000 and it is an improvement on the original PP2P design. But I guess you could call this one of those you should have started over instead of trying to fix what's unfixable situations. Because just like PP2P, L2TP has security vulnerabilities mainly inherited from its encryption method which is why L2TP is often paired with IPsec, which is a different protocol, but a secure one. But this doesn't really fix the problem because in cybersecurity, the weakest link in a chain becomes the vulnerability. In this case, it's L2TP. Additionally, setting up L2TP with IPsec is not easy at all. But you know what is easy? Subscribing to our YouTube channel. Seriously, it's just one click, Two if you hit the bell, three if you also click the like button on this video. Okay, back to protocols. So with all that we talked about before in mind, what do we recommend? First of all, and this should be an obvious one, avoid using PP2P or L2TP on your routers or any other devices that you own. They will not offer you enough security and allow the government, ISP, or potential hacker to spy on you. If possible, use OpenVPN or WireGuard on your router instead. We made plenty of tutorial videos on how to do just that. I will leave our router tutorial videos in the description below. And if you have an older router, then it may be time to upgrade. We also made a top five best routers for VPN video to help you pick the best one. Check it out by clicking on this card here. At the end of the day, our job here is to make sure that you are secure on the internet. So definitely share this video with anyone who might be still using one of these outdated protocols. And that is all for this video. If you enjoyed it, then hit that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel on, oh, here are two more videos that I think you'll like. But that is all for me, take care.